Hi everyone, this is Jenna with Brown Dog Craft Company and I am coming to you live today uh, from Hudson, Wisconsin. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd and we are together today to make the Bag of Bones Bundle card class. So welcome everyone and um, I want to show you the cards that we're making tonight and I will briefly show you the cards for upcoming classes, just real quick, um, to give you a little overview, and then we will get right into making cards tonight. So, um, Milo's here. He just went from the bed underneath my desk to the desk, or um, to the to his bed in the other space over here. So, <laughs> he looks like he's getting settled in um, for a crafting session. Hi, Vicki. So um, I will uh, flip my camera and I'll show you what we're going to make tonight. So, all right. So today we are on Bag of Bones Bundle Card Class. Um, and if you are watching this in the future and you're interested in card kits, I do still have card kits available. Um, so if you're watching this in the future and you're interested in um, card kits, please reach out and let me know. Um, you can always go to browndogcraftcompany.com and my contact information and my class calendar is out there um, as well as information on all the classes and how to get signed up. Hi, thank you. All right, so this is the suite or the bundle that we're using today. So we're specifically using um, the stamps and dies, the DSP, and these um, glow-in-the-dark bats and ghosts. So here's the stamp set. It's photopolymer. And there's a whole bunch of stamps and a whole bunch of dies. So um, we'll be using these today. There's I have two sheets of dies. My, my dies are messy, but um, they're all in there. <laughs> okay, uh, and these are the cards that we're making. So here's this one. So this one also uses, um, it's a background stamp called It's In The Stars. Um, so we'll, we'll use that today too. That's a red rubber clean, a red rubber background stamp. Okay, in this cute little skeleton on the inside. Here's the another card we're making today. So this one uses two different DSPs. Here's another card. This whole background is the DSP. Okay, and the fourth card. This one we're gonna ink blend. So these, the cat and the skeleton are die cut from the DSP. And then the background is ink blended. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so um, we'll get started on those in a few minutes here. I just wanted to quickly show you um, what's next. So next, so I, I do classes live. Um, let me put me in the corner there, there. I do classes live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central. So um, you can always find me here at 8 p.m. and uh, craft along with me. So next week we have the Let's Craft card class for October. And we are doing three cards in that class. We're doing um, Pick Up the Patch and Medley Mix and uh, Forever Forest. Okay, so I have card kits for that. And then the following week, I'm doing a horse and sleigh stamp a stack where you make 16 cards, four of each design. And you'll get a quarter pack of DSP, the open one horse open sleigh DSP. You'll get an entire pack of the festive pearls, um, adhesive backed embellishments, and you'll get an entire pack of the satin edged ribbon along with a little bit of the organdy ribbon, I think it is. Yeah, right here on this card. Okay, and then some other embellishments because I couldn't I couldn't pick one set of embellishments apparently. So, 
Okay, and then uh, the last one in October is the Fun Fold class. So it's Classic Christmas. Okay. And um, that's uh, four cards for that one. Okay. And this one. So I have kits available for everything, um, for all these classes that are upcoming. Okay. Um, and then uh, I did make November cards. I'll show you briefly since we're here. Uh, let's see. Very cute bundle class in November. These are the cards we're making. This one has the snowflake embossing folder. This one uses... Um, the embossing paste and the cute little bear punch um, and then let's craft card class for November is fragrant forest so this is embossing powder clear embossing powder on this one okay and this one's a, a twofer <laughs> um, this is gift of giving so that's heat embossed again And um, also with a little coordinating um, tag that'll focus on there. There we go. Okay. And then Winter Owls. And Winter Owls is a shaker. And it's hard to see on camera, but the owl is, um, he's shimmery with Stella. And then lastly for November, uh, trucking along stamp a stack. So here's one cute scene card with the truck. So you'll get the truck punch, you'll get the ribbon, um, you'll need the stamps for these. You technically won't need the truck punch, just the stamps, because I will punch out the truck, the truck for you. And then this one looks like a present, really cute. So. All right, so just wanted to show you those briefly and let's get started. Okay, so uh, which one should we make first? I think we should do this one. Okay, this one is fun to do with the background stamp. So I'm pulling out my um, like foam mat to stamp with photopolymer stamps on and some scrap paper and this in the it's in the stars so we're going to use um, that I'm going to put it on a really big block now if you don't have this background stamp you can use any background stamp or you can use any stamps within a stamp set any stamp like you could take the rose or the hat or the puppy or the kitty and just stamp repeatedly on the cardstock um, to get the background image. So we're going to be using tone on tone and it's meant to be more of a subtle look. So um, I'm, I do have the stamp for this so I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to put it on my black. And let's find that card kit. So when you sign up for, my, uh, for a, a card class with me, you'll get all the supplies you need besides the stamps and the dies um, to make the cards that we're making in class. So it's always free to watch, but uh, if you want card kits, they are available for purchase a couple different ways. So um, it's all on my class calendar, which is on my website. And then if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me also. So, um, but each card will be contained in its own envelope. Okay, so be careful when you're dumping out your envelopes because you'll find your embellishments somewhere. Sometimes they fall out of the card a bit. So here we have the, um, this is silver ribbon. Hi Hildy, thanks for joining. Uh, here you'll have these um, gems. You'll have one big and two small. I'm gonna set mine up here so I don't lose them. Uh, you'll have a strip for your sentiment here. Okay, it's about a one inch strip here. 
and then you'll have this piece, you'll, you'll have your card base, and then you'll have this piece of starry sky. So this is just a A2 card panel, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And I die cut with the stylus shapes. I die cut out the rounded rectangle, okay, right from the center of this for you. So this is gonna be here. And then this guy is stamped directly on the card front, okay? So let's stamp, let's pull out our starry sky here. And I stamped no bones about it. Oh, you know what? I stamped that in memento. Let's pull out our memento. So I did no bones about it. You're a sweet friend. And I did a little heart in Starry Sky. And we'll need bon bonjour. <laughs> bon, bon, bon. Bonjour. I feel like I'm um, Francois from Paw Patrol. All right, so I'll get these put on blocks. And we'll get stamping. Okay, so we'll do on the sentiment here, we'll do um, memento. No bones about it. Okay, and you should have plenty um, of white here in case you mess up. You should have a couple of tries to get it straight or inked up enough. Okay, get that here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then I stamped on the inside, I would burnish your card base. I um I score them for you, but I don't burnish them. So uh, as a guide, because we're going to stamp bonjour on the inside, we're going to line this up where it would go and then take our bonjour stamp and line it up and put it right at the top there, the top left of our little opening. Okay, and that's that's it for Memento. Okay. All right, let's stamp our skeletons. So there's a skeleton on the inside and a skeleton on the outside. So the skeleton um, on the outside here is this main skeleton guy, the one that's a full skeleton. And he is in gray granite. So let's get all of our stamping out of the way here. Whoops. Okay, so we'll get him inked up in gray granite. Okay, and then put him right below the sponsor. Let it marinate for a minute. Okay, now. On the inside, um, I used the skeleton that is like you can piece them together and do what you want with his arms. So his main body part here, we can stamp first. And I sort of liked if he was kind of falling off the end of the card. I didn't mind it so much. So you could start with his feet if you wanted to start with his feet. I'm just gonna go for it and stamp his body here. Okay, and then we need legs. I'm gonna have to clean off one of my blocks here. Okay, bonjour. I don't know why I think that's so cute. He should have the beret. You could stamp the beret on him. That would be cute. Okay, he needs an arm like this. Nope. The other arm. <laughs> Let's see. This arm. 
and it's going to hold a cute little starry sky rose. And we'll do this arm like this. Okay. And he needs another arm on the other side. I think that's this one. Yes. This one. Okay. Cutie. And now he needs some legs. And one of his legs is really crooked. <laughs> like he's taking a little, he's kicking out a little bit. Like one. And where's his other leg? Here it is. All right. Now you can die cut these little pieces too. Um, that would be a lot of work, but you could. Okay, and that's it for gray granite. So I'm clean these off while I'm at it. Um, if you wanted to stamp the little beret on him, I think now would be a good time to do that. Um, you could do it in black, maybe. Maybe in black would be cute. Um, okay, now we're going to pull out Starry Sky, and we're going to do a couple things with Starry Sky. So we will do the little rose that he's holding. Here. Oops, that's gray granite. I almost stamped in gray granite. Whoops. Okay, here's Starry Sky. So we're going to stamp the little rose in his hand. Okay. And, um... We're going to stamp a little heart on our sentiment here, right next to the I. I mean, right next to the T in it. <laughs> right next to the I. Right about here. Okay. Cute. Okay, and now you can banner your shape however you'd like. Uh, if you just want to cut it straight or if you want to use your scissors and cut it. I'm going to use my favorite um, punch, the banner punch here, and um, it's one of my favorites. So you can pick if you want a banner this way or a banner this way. So on this one, I did a banner like the opposite way from like a flag. So I'm going to trim some off. And then when I do my punches, I like to do them upside down so I can see where I'm punching. Um, so I don't stamp, or so I don't punch off my stamp. So I'm going to line it up and punch. Do the same on the other side. Line it up in the center and punch. There we go. Okay. So there's your banner. Keep this if you keep scraps this small. I do not. <laughs> um... Okay, now the last bit of stamping on this is going to be this right here. So um, I'm going to ink up this big, it's in the stars. And when I have a big stamp like this, I like to take my ink pad and flip it upside down and put it onto my uh, stamp. So make sure you stamp on a piece of paper because we're going to stamp off the edges. And we're going to flip it over, and you get one shot unless you're using a stamping positioner. So line it up as best you can. Don't don't wiggle it. Don't wiggle jiggle it. <laughs> Just um, push it straight down. OK. La la la. I like to give it a second to, I don't know, transfer. Does anyone else do that? I, I, I don't know if it actually does anything, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> okay. Yay, look how cute it is. It worked. 
Okay. Now, if you like it just like this, you can leave it. That's what I did on the original card. Okay. If you like it a little more subdued, you could take your blending brush and some Starry Sky ink just a little bit and lightly ink blend onto the edges. Okay. Maybe I'll do that so you can see what it would look like. So I'll take a little bit of um, ink and start off my cardstock and then carefully bring it gently onto the cardstock. And what it does is it softens your stamping, but just a little bit because it's tone on tone, right? So it's starry sky on starry sky on starry sky again. But it's such a pretty color and So I'll show you the difference between the two when we're all done, between the ink blended one and the not ink blended one. And then I'm gonna clean off my It's in the Stars stamp real quick too, otherwise I will 100% put my arm in it. <laughs> um, ask me how I know. I may have done it with when I made this card originally for class. <laughs> so um, yeah, do as I say, not as I do maybe, yeah. Okay, all right, so there, there's a little bit of ink blending on that. It's hard to tell on camera, um, but in person it's darker along just the edges. Okay, so total personal preference there on what you'd like to do. Okay, so I'm gonna take, since it's such a big stamp here, I'm gonna take my Stampin' Mist or my cleaner and get my project out of the way, and then I'm gonna spray. You could, Stamp it off a couple times, put it in your um, cleaning chamois. I'm just gonna use a towel. Oh, look at that, turning blue. Try not to get inky in the process. I always get inky fingers at like the most inopportune times. Like when I have to go meet someone or talk to someone, I'll be crafting before and get really inky fingers and then, yeah. That always happens to me. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right. So, um, now we can get to adhering. So, um, I pop everything up on foam tape. I am a big fan of foam and dimension in all my cards. So I'm gonna, I, I have a new camera and I'm playing with the focusing set, settings. If you've been here uh, recently, you know that I've been making some changes and try to figure out how to best focus my camera. So, oh look at, see, look how inky I am. I got inky anyway. <laughs> um, so, I wonder if I'm going to leave inky marks places. I'm, I might. I might. Okay, let me get some dimensionals. Oh, I'm almost out. Okay, so we're going to pop this one up. Oops. You could glue it directly down if you prefer. Um, we're going to pop up everything. So we're going to pop up this and the sentiment, uh, and that's it, I guess, on this one. So, I'm having issues with those sticking to my fingers today. Do you guys find these on you places, like later when you're done crafting? Do you ever find them like stuck to your clothes or? Sometimes I find them stuck to the bottom of my socks. <laughs> I don't really know how they get on the ground, but apparently they do. That's a thing, I guess. So, all right. It's really satisfying using up one of these sheets. Okay, and then this is going to get popped up also. Hmm. Do one over here, one here, a little bit more. I like a lot of foam, <laughs> a lot of foam tape, a lot of dimension. Okay, 
Last one. Okay, I'm going to peel off all my backers. I'm going to be really inky tomorrow. Maybe we should have ended with this card <laughs> instead of started with it. Okay, get all these off. Whoops. You'll have to let me know if you have this bundle and if you've used it yet. Um, on Saturday, I made a card and cute little tag for like a Halloween treat. I think I used star, starry, starry, starry sky then too. Okay. I'm going to get over the camera here. Sorry. Line this up. Okay. So that's lined up. Okay. And then this one goes right here centered left to right and up and down in this little space and then we'll add with a glue dot we'll add our little ribbon here now I tied this with my bow maker so um, it's a nice bow if you don't have a bow maker I highly recommend one I almost never made bows without a bow maker so now that I have a bow maker I use I make bows all the time I love them all right trim up my ends a little Although I like them long, so I'm not going to trim them up too much. Vicki says she has this set and has been using it a lot. Good. We only get like a month, two months to use it, right? September and October. And then, I mean, I suppose we could make Halloween cards for the, for the, for the, the following year. But, um, you know, come November 1st, I feel like we're kind of, we're kind of limited on what we can make Halloween cards for. So, okay, um, let's see. You know what this set reminds me of is that movie Coco with the um, cute little skeletons. Like it's, they're celebrating like the Day of the Dead in the movie and um, the little boy ends up like crossing into the wherever and they're all skeletons <laughs> so that's what this reminds me of so all right so I'm just gonna scatter these about the card put the big one with the little one okay and that is it for card number one all right isn't that cute easy comes together really quick this is where you could put his cute little beret or you could put his beret here too and uh, the bray has a die, so you could stamp or stamp and die cut or just die cut the bray too to put on him. So, very cute. All right, card one in the box. Set those aside. All right, um, what should we do next? Let's do this one next. Vicki says, yes, I need to make another for my son. His birthday is Halloween. Oh, well, that's fun. I'm sure he had a lot of fun with that if he's still a kid or when he was a kid that would be fun I I have one that has an October birthday but not Halloween I think she would love it if it was Halloween <laughs> so okay so this has a Cajun craze card base all right uh, let's pull that out here it is it's the one in the vanilla envelope okay so here's the Cajun craze card base and then there's lots of pieces to this one. Lots and lots of pieces. So um, you've got three basic rhinestones, two big and one small. You've got this little ribbon. Now, I didn't realize until after I kitted this up that this ribbon is retired. So it may still be available on the clearance rack. Um, I think, what color is it? I think it may be petal pink. Okay, otherwise, um, 
There's Calypso Coral in the Modern Garden Suite. It's a little more pinky, but it's the same sort of type of like linen-y um, ribbon. Okay, so that's the ribbon. Little disclaimer there. Okay, then you're gonna have some banners. So you'll have a Cajun Craze banner and a white banner. So these are die cut to be nesting. You're gonna have um, pieces of your DSP and this is going to go on either side of the front of the card. Okay. Vicki says he'll be 45, but mom still makes it for him. Oh, always your baby. Always. I feel the same way. <laughs> Doesn't matter how old they are. Right? Um, okay, so this is pumpkin pie. And this is uh, some more DSP. Okay. From that suite. It's going to go on here. Uh, this is our background panel going to go on the front of the card. And then I gave you um, white to stamp and die cut your skeletons and then white for the inside. Okay, so let's do our stamping. I'm going to burnish my card base. All right, so there's our card base. I'll set that aside. And then let's stamp on the inside. So the inside I stamped Happy Halloween in pumpkin pie and a cute little kitty in gray granite. So let's pull out pumpkin pie and gray granite and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. All right. Happy Halloween in pumpkin pie. So I stamped that toward the top here. Um, Yes, right here, a little bit off to the left because I'm going to add a kitten next to it. Okay, and the little kitty will be in gray granite. Now I did a kitty on the inside because I did a puppy on the outside, but you could also do the opposite. So you could do the kitty on the outside and the puppy on the inside. And we'll do cute little meow meow right there. I kind of want to do the cat in orange because our neighbor has an orange cat and my kids really love, um, they really love him <laughs> and he's orange. But um, this is a skeleton kitty so He's going to be gray. <laughs> okay, so then this is your scrap piece of white. And um, we're going to do the skeleton. Let's close the orange because I don't think we need it anymore. So we're going to do the skeleton. We're going to do this big skeleton guy again and the puppy. And he's they'll be both stamped in gray granite. And you should have plenty of room for both of these. Okay. Okay, and then I stamped Eat, Shriek, and Be Scary on the front, on this little banner toward the bottom in Memento. Okay, Eat, Shriek, and Be Scary. Eat, Shriek, and Be Scary. Here it is. I've used this one a lot. I like this little scene. All right, this is not the block to do this on, but I'm going to try it. If I mess up, you can say I told you so. <laughs> Telling my future self that. I mean, it looks pretty good. I think I need to re-ink. I feel like I just re-inked this too. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to get it straight toward the bottom there. Oh god, I made a mess. Okay, so I made a mess with my ink. I stamped it super nicely on this one. All right, so I'm gonna go with it because I don't have another one of these prepped, but I think I will replace it later. See how I, I pushed too hard on that R? So that's because I used the wrong block. Yeah, don't push too hard. <laughs> oh, and I didn't have my mat underneath me when I was stamping. That doesn't help either. Okay, 
All right, let's die cut these little guys. Get all this stuff out of the way. So let's die cut these. I'm gonna pull out, I need the dog and the skeleton. And I think I need them a lot. I think we use those ones a lot. So I'm going to line these up and use a little bit of repositionable tape. I have post-it tape here, but you could use washi tape, um, pink tape, whatever you have. Okay, whatever you typically use to hold down your dice. Or maybe you're lucky enough to be one that has the magnetic... Um, Looks scary. Yeah, I know it does, right? <laughs> scary, scary sentiment for a scary card. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, that made me laugh. All right, so I'm not going to glue down my e tree can be scary because I'm going to stamp a new one later, but... Um, We'll make the rest of it here. So punch these out. These never punch out for me. They always get stuck. Okay. All right, so this is extra scrap for whatever you'd like to use it for. And um, I think we can get gluing. Okay, so um, I wonder if I have an extra one of those I could die cut quick. <laughs> um, Okay, so let's get gluing. So let's glue the inside of the card um, down. So that's, I like to do that with liquid glue. Make sure you glue it right side up. You'll have about um, an eighth inch margin all around. Okay, cute. And then um, for the front, where's my gray granite? This is gray granite, and it goes right here, all right, right on the center there. So I like to glue that part down last in case I mess up on anything, just my personal preference. So you're gonna have these two strips, and they're gonna go here, and you're gonna line them up on the top, the bottom, and the right, okay? Um, and you're not going to worry about the center here. Oh, and you know what? They're a little bit too long. We're going to trim them. We're going to trim them just an eighth of an inch. I think. No, I think we need to do a quarter of an inch to be an eighth on either side. All right, so if, you're, if you have the kit for this and you're following along, you'll want to cut off a quarter inch on each of these on the length. Okay, I cut them too long. All right. Okay, because then they fit nicely right there. Yes, that's better. Okay, all right, so let's put glue on those. And, oops. I don't think there's a direction to this pattern paper. Oh, yeah, there is. So make sure your bats are right side up. We don't want upside down bats. Oh, gosh. Draw my pattern paper right there. All right, so just line it up. Um, okay, like that. And on the other side. Make sure your bats are going the same way. See both my bats going that way. There we go. Okay. And then we're gonna glue your tombstones to your pumpkin pie. And that will be centered.
just like that. Okay, whoops, I'm a little low. Okay, now I popped this up. So I'm going to use some long strips if I can. If you have some foam strips, that would work too. Okay. It's so satisfying using up one of these sheets. Like, oh, it's gone. <laughs> It's used up. Here's another one. How do I have so many with these on here? It's like my fourth one tonight. And we need a little bit in the middle there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna peel off the backers. All right, so make sure your bats are right side up. Make sure your tombstones are right side up. And I'm gonna get over this because I'm gonna line it up. Okay, so it lines up perfectly there. Lines up perfectly. Okay, then um, you would glue this onto here. Okay, which I'm I'm, I'm just going to go for it. I'll cover it later. Okay. So this just nestles right in the center. Okay. And then this gets popped up, this gets popped up, and the puppy gets popped up. So I popped up everyone. Well, all I have are mini. Oh, here's some regular size ones. So when I do the skeleton, um, all I'm worrying about is his head and his little torso. You could put a little mini, a little mini dot right there. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do that for the puppy and the and his little um, hips right there. Okay. All right, oh, and then this gets popped up. La, la, la. One, two, I think I'll do six. Six of these. Okay. And then this will go toward the top in the center. So right about here. And pretend the scary doesn't look scary. <laughs> okay, and then our waving little skeleton person is gonna go over here, hanging off the edge, um, waving. Hello. Okay, and uh, the little puppy's gonna go barking at his feet. You know who this also reminds me of is um, is it Jack and Zero from um, it was a movie when I was a kid. A Halloween movie and they like go in the woods and they mix up the holidays I can't remember the name of the movie but that's what they also remind me of so okay um let's glue this to our card base so this is gonna get glued down with some liquid glue right on our card base There'll be a small margin of Cajun Craze peeking out. And we'll take my glue dots to put our bow down. And then trim up our tails. That's gonna go right in the center here. I like these tails. I think that's, oh, this one's a little long. You should use ribbon scissors for your tails. I don't have mine out at the moment, but use ribbon scissors. Okay, and then we got our we have our gems. So I did two over on the left and one over on the right. So I did big one here. I always put the big gem with the little gem. Okay. 
And then last one over here on this side. Yay. All right. Turned out cute. Except for the scary. <laughs> Except for the scary sentiment. Um, okay. All right. So there's two. Card number two. Halfway done. All right. Let me put those aside. Let's do this one next. So this one uses the bats and ghosts that are glow in the dark. When we're all done, I'll show you how they glow in the dark too. They're really cute. Um, really cute. And this uses some organdy ribbon and we're gonna stamp these critters and all of these will be die cut. So these are really teeny pieces. So when you're dumping out your envelope, uh, be careful. Let's see, that's this one, yes. Okay. Oh, I gotta clean up my stamps some too. So, what do we stamp? Not Happy Halloween. Did I stamp a puppy anywhere? I did stamp a puppy. I stamped a big skeleton. I stamp a kitty. I did not stamp this. Oh, this one uses heat embossing too. Thanks, Vicky. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this one uses heat embossing. So we're gonna um, heat emboss in white. So when you open your um, envelope here, you'll have a starry sky base, and inside you'll have this itsy bitsy orange heart. That's from the die set. You'll have a ghost and two bats, or you might have two bats, two ghosts and a bat. Um, but you'll have three of whatever it is that you have. Oh, look, you can already see them glowing in the dark. <laughs> Okay, and then you'll have a, a little organdy um, bow that I tied for you. Vicki says, I love this paper. It does most of the work for you. I know, and it's really fun. It's like cut in half. So it's a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and the first six inches is a scene facing that way, and the other six inches is an identical scene flipped over facing that way. So you can get a lot of cards out of just that one piece of paper. So it's... um really pretty and it's the background of the card so uh, you're gonna have a little top hat in black a little cane in black and this itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini no this itsy bitsy can you see that it's a little bow tie how cute is that I had to I just had to I had to and then this is um I think it's gray granite it's the little green the little green, the little grass that's going to go in front of the tombstone. Okay, uh, here's a piece we're going to stamp the skeletons on. Here's the tombstone. And here's this. Now, you all won't get the exact same piece because it's slightly different, um, but you'll get this. So, so it, you know, your mood might be in a little different spot or your mood might be hanging off the side. Um, whichever piece of pattern paper you happen to get, but it will have this um, scene in the background here. Okay, uh, here's a piece of black to mat it on. So we're going to mat it like this. And I really like eighth inch margins. So um, everything will really have a really tight fit, a nice fit, um, which is what I prefer. And then this will be for the inside. Okay, so let's burnish. And stamp. So, um, let's see, was that my inside? Yes. I'm going to stamp in gray granite. I'm going to stamp the skeletons. So we need a kitty and a skeleton. I think last time we did a puppy. Oh, and you know what? Um, I'm going to save my scrap and I'm going to use them both on here from the other card. So there's the kitty. I think I can fit him on there. Hmm. Maybe. Big old maybe. Oh yeah, he'll fit. Yes. Okay, and then I'll die cut that out quick. Oh, I pulled out the puppy, but not the kitty. 
Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Here he is. Okay, I'll put that back in. All right. Vicki, you, you should find me on Facebook. It's Brown Dog Craft Company. You should find me, and when you make the Halloween birthday card for your son, you should add it um, and take me. I'd love to see it. All right, I've got my die cut machine right here off to the side. Okay. Here's our skeleton guy or gal. I suppose he's probably a guy on this card. And then the kitty. Here we go. Look, I used that up. And cute little kitty. Cute little meow meow. Okay. All right. Okay, um, let's do, let's stamp on the inside. So I did No Bones About It in Starry Sky with a puppy at the bottom. So I did the puppy in gray granite. You could do the kitty if you like kitties. I tried to do the opposite on each of these cards. So like if I did a cat on the front, I did a dog on the inside. And if I did a dog on the front, I did a cat on the inside. Okay. Oh, and then what did I say? Starry sky for the sentiment. Ooh. And I did no bones about it. You're a sweet friend? Is that what I said? Yes. Okay. I think we used that once today on the other card too. About toppling things over here. Okay. No bones about it. You're a sweet friend. And I stamped that part in my head for a minute. Right there. Cute. And that's all the stamping in ink colors. We are going to stamp onto our tombstone. Oh, and I'm going to pull out this. And I know it's hard to see. Let me find my... Let me put it on here. There, you can see that better, I think. Okay, so now we're going to pull out our Versamark and our white embossing powder. And I, I dump mine from the buckets into this because I like to keep a spoon in there. So this is my white. I've got separate containers for like clear and black and silver and whatnot. So um, we stamped Boo to You and one of the bats. So I did this bat and boo to you. And I'm going to um, put them both on the same block and stamp them at the same time. So. Kind of line them up on my block here. Okay. All right. I think that'll look good. So I'm going to take my anti-static tool and powder up this so that the um, embossing powder only sticks to the ink and ink this up. Okay. So here's my first mark. I'm going to ink this up really well. I want to get it good on the first try. Okay, and then stamp that right here. I think that looks good. Put the lid on my Versamark and then um, open up open up the embossing powder. Sprinkle some on. I 
I had a moment of panic there thinking, did I do that in clear? I think this is white. <laughs> okay, you can use a little paintbrush to kind of clear off any powder that gets somewhere where you don't want it. Okay, doesn't need to be exactly perfect. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to get my tweezers to help hold this. And then I'm going to heat, I'm going to melt the powder with my heat tool. So, sorry, it might be loud for a minute here. Let it heat up for 30 seconds or so. Let it cool down for a minute and then you can um, take your clean cloth and buff away that excess um, anti-static powder okay all right I think we can start to glue okay so we can do the inside of the card and we can do this um, front piece. So let's get the inside and this front piece. So this front piece will get matted under the black here with a very small margin on either side or on all sides I should say. And then our inside obviously goes on the inside. <laughs> okay. Now, if you're really brave and you don't want to stamp your insides until after you've glued them, you could do that and stamp them later um, or glue them first and then stamp them. I am not that brave. I would probably mess up by doing that. Okay. Um, I'm going to pop this up because I'm extra and I'm okay with that. <laughs> if you're extra also, you can pop it up too or you can glue it down, whichever one. Let's see, I can tell you I go through a lot of these little guys and I find the backers literally everywhere. My bathroom, <laughs> my living room, my car, they follow me around. Okay, all right, and that gets centered onto here. So pardon my head again. It's a small margin, so I wanna make sure I get it on there good. All right, there we go. Y'all get to see that I have to color my hair. <laughs> okay, now um, I glued this sort of kitty wampus because it sort of looks like it, like, you know, this, this one's kitty wampus. So I feel like this one can be kitty wampus too. And now it's not behind the grass, but we're gonna mask that by adding a little bit of grass on top of it. So we're just gonna glue it down here. Little kitty wampus. Now, if you have a tombstone on your pattern paper that isn't in exactly this spot, um, kind of lay out your pieces before you adhere them down and see where you like them best because maybe your tombstone is more over here um, so maybe you want to put both your tombstone and your skeleton over there you know just sort of pick wherever you like it best okay then we're gonna glue the little heart right there that little pumpkin heart okay so that's gonna go here
Okay. And the kitty will get dimensionals. I think he needs little foam. He could maybe have a big one on his tummy, I guess. There. When I make a card, I like to tell myself a little story. Like, all right, this little kitty and this little skeleton are having a party in the cemetery on Halloween <laughs> and um, they're having a grand old time. So I don't know if any of you tell stories about your when you're making cards but I do. All right so I'm gonna put his hat at a little bit of an angle there and then I gotta add his baby little bow tie right there. So small. Let's see if I can get that on straight. And then his little cane. Whoops. And there's at the top of a cane there's like a little whoops that's not right. <laughs> there's a little larger piece if that makes sense. Just enough for him to put your your little dot of glue or your glue dot. Um, that would work too. And then I'm going to pick up my guy and put the cane behind his hand. Okay, whoops. All right. I should be using some sort of silicone mat or paper, not right on my desk. And then he's going to get popped up too. So his hat his head, his body, and I'm going to do a little one here. I think that's good. Okay. And then he goes off to the side here, dancing, dancing away. Okay, now we'll add the bow glue dots. We'll add the bow with glue dots. Or with a glue dot. Goes right at the top of the tombstone here. And then add the glow in the dark. The glow in the dark embellishments. So I have a ghost here. Whoops. I'm going to add him right about there. And I have two bats. Let's do one here and one over here. Okay, if you wanted to do some Stella, you could Stella the little heart here. Um, you could Stella the hat. I think I'm just going to Stella the heart. You could Stella the hat, or maybe I'll do the bow tie too. I wouldn't Stella anything you've stamped, um, just because the ink might bleed. Okay, and that's card number three. Isn't it cute? So adorable. And when we're done, I'll turn off the lights. So I'm going to leave it in the lights so we can, so it'll um, glow in the dark for us. All right, here is card number four. So this is on a pumpkin pie card base. And it's a little cowboy. So it uses some of the DSP. This is Starry Sky um, ribbon from the annual catalog. And then uh, this is the DSP. So you'll have, let's, let's pull out the card. You'll have, um, Here's your card base. You'll have your Starry Sky ribbon. You'll have, these are matte decorative dots from the annual catalog in Starry Sky. You'll have the pieces for your tomb, which we're going to do some ink blending with gray granite. You'll have these adorable, super cute cards. Do you have any kits left? I'll email you. Yes, Vicki H. I do have kits left. Please email me. It's hello at browndogcraftcompany.com. Um, and as soon as we're done with class, I can um, 
email you back and I can ship you out a card kit in the mail tomorrow. So, okay. Um, great, great. So these are the adorable little cowboy boots. Aren't they just cute? <laughs> I, I just can't get over how cute these are. So these are from Crumb Cake. And here's a little fence in black. And this cowboy hat is in Cajun Craze. All right, isn't that adorable? And then um, I gave you a skeleton. So uh, the color of your skeletons will vary. Um, as you can see on the original, it, it was these colors. And I don't have those colors here. So, um, But I'm going to give you a skeleton person and a dog and a cat. So you can choose if you want to put a cat or a dog on your card. Or, or both. Okay, um, this is this little square right here. It comes on top of your DSP. It's this background. So don't stamp anything on this or die cut anything. Um, we'll need that for our background. You're going to get a, a piece of this orange DSP. And then this is um, a mat for the front. And then this will be your inside. Okay, so um, as always, burnish your cards. And I'm going to die cut, I'm going to try to keep these in the light so they light up for us. I'm going to die cut my critters. So I'm going to do the cat and the skeleton because those are the dies I have out. <laughs> so I'm going to line these up. Sorry if my head gets in the way, but I want to make sure I line them up right. And the kitty. All right, so they're in the DSP. There's an entire pack of, or there's an entire two sheets of, the whole paper is just filled with these little skeletons. So um, you can die cut them out from the paper. Makes for a quick cut. Okay, and that's it for die cutting for tonight. Exciting. So here's the, I have an orange skeleton and a, what color is my kitty? I think he's white or she, white kitty. Okay, so I'm gonna build my little skeleton here. So he's a cowboy. So we're gonna add a couple dots of glue. We're gonna add some to his feet right here, or his legs, and then one to his hand to hold his hat, his cowboy hat. And then he's kind of like tossing his cowboy hat in the air here. And the boots go on the correct feet. Like there's a right boot and a left boot. Like somebody really thought this out when they made this. <laughs> All right, and there are his boots. Isn't he just the cutest little cowboy? I think he's so cute. I can't get over it. <laughs> I can't get over how cute he is. Okay, and then um, let's, we're gonna add some foam tape to him, but we're not gonna add any foam tape behind his arm or his hat because um, that's going to get glued onto the tomb or crypt or whatever this is. So his head will get some and his body. And then he's now big enough for these guys on his feet since we added some cowboy boots. So we'll put one there and one there. And then the kitty. Kitty needs some. Okay, and then we'll set those aside for a little bit to dry. Okay. Um, let's do some ink blending. So, for ink blending, we're going to pull out Pumpkin Pie, Cajun Craze, and starry sky okay so we're gonna do like the sun is setting 
So we're going to start with pumpkin pie, go into Cajun craze, and end with starry sky. Okay, and we're going to do that all on our white piece right here. Okay, it's about four and a quarter by three. Okay, so just make sure it's not the inside of your card. Make sure it's the outside. And we're going to start with uh, pumpkin pie. I'm trying to find my piece of paper here. So um, get your orange blending brush. And what I do with my blending brush, so I don't know what I have on here, right? It's my orange brush, but who knows what's on here? So I take my rag. You could use a paper towel too. And I just take my brush and I go like this. This is literally all the cleaning I do to my brushes. I never clean them any more than this. All right. Now, I have the same color or the same blending brush for all of my orange colors or all of my blue colors. So we're going to start with our lighter color because I have the same blending brush for pumpkin pie and Cajun craze. So we're going to take our pumpkin pie and we're going to load up our, our blending brush. And I think this is sort of juicy. I think so. Okay, and then we're going to start off of our paper and be very soft. If you push too hard, you'll see the brush marks in your paper and you won't be happy with um, how the blending looks. So just be really soft and take your time and you can always add more ink throughout the process. So we're going to go about a third of the way up. Okay, and it's okay if we go a little bit more. We, we want to go a little bit more into the next color so that they blend nicely together. But we're going to cover approximately one third of our cardstock with pumpkin pie. Now you can go as dark or as light as you want. Uh, the ink will dry back a little bit, so it will go on darker than how it will look when it's dry. So always, um, I'll always know that it'll be a little bit lighter when it's dry. Okay, so there's my pumpkin pie. I like the way that looks. I'm going to pull out Cajun Craze next. And I'm going to use the same blending brush. I'm not going to clean it because I'm going from light to dark. If I was going from dark to light, I would clean off my brush, but I'm not. Light to dark is just fine. Okay, um, I'm going to do this now in the center. So again, I'm starting off of my paper and bringing it onto my paper. Nice, soft, smooth strokes. And I'm trying to keep my fingers out of it if possible. Um, when the ink is still a little bit wet, uh, if you put your finger right in it, it'll leave a fingerprint. So leave fingerprint ev evidence on your card. <laughs> leave some DNA or whatever. <laughs> so, and then um, I'm going to ever so gently bring my blending brush down into the pumpkin pie to blend the two colors together. Okay. So then when you're happy with the amount of color that you have on your cardstock, we can move on to Starry Sky. So I, I used Starry Sky earlier in class today on this blending brush, so I'm not going to clean it off. Um, because it's the same color. So I'm going to pull out Starry Sky. I'm going to flip this over and so that I can avoid getting my fingers, my fingerprint in this, I'm going to take a bit of tape. You could just use a scratch piece of paper too. And I'm going to put the sticky side like this onto my fingers. Okay, so the sticky side is on my fingers and I'm going to use this now to hold down my piece of paper. All right, just a little trick, a little trick for you. Okay, and then blend on our starry sky. Now I did mine pretty dark on the original. You can pick how dark, how dark you want your night to be. And we're gonna do one more thing at the end that will darken up our night sky. And it's my favorite thing of all, my favorite trick for ink blending. So I'm concentrating mostly on this top third. Um, I'm blending a little bit between the Cajun Craze and the Starry Sky, but not too much because those two colors will make brown if you 
mix them too much. So unless you want to have brown sunset, just be careful on how much you blend those two colors together. A lot of it will be covered. Um, and I think it looks good like that. Okay, so now I am going to pull out. This is the trick. All right, are you ready? <laughs> this is the trick. I'm going to pull out Memento, which is black, and my black blending brush. And I'm going <laughs> to stick into me. I'm going to load up some black. And I'm going to go just along the edges on the top, on the top of our sky. So where the starry sky is and down a little bit into the Cajun craze. And what this is going to do is it's going to darken up the edges of our night sky and give it a lot of dimension. And it's one of my favorite things to do um, for like night skies or underwater scenes. Um, it's just fun. Just adds a little a little something to your ink blending. Okay, now while we're at it, we're going to pull out our crypt here and we're going to ink blend some black along the outsides of the crypt and give it some dimension. So it doesn't need much. Light strokes. Make sure to always start off your paper and bring it onto your cardstock. Maybe a little bit more. Give some shadows. Okay, so you see the difference in that? All right. Let's do some stamping. So here I've got the little top to the crypt. And I stamped a bat, this little bat. Nope. The other little bat. Can't find my little block. This little bat here. In black. Toward the bottom. So there he is, and that's it for black. And then in Starry Sky, we're gonna do Eat, Shriek, and Be Scary. You could also do Boo to You if you wanted. I think that would also go. I need a block here. Boo to You, Eat, Shriek, and Be Scary. I think that's just such a cute sentiment. Like who came up with that? <laughs> I'd like to know. <laughs> okay, eat, shriek, and be scary. And that's about right here. Okay. And what's on the inside? I don't remember. Oh, bon bonjour and some th uh, three bats in gray granite. Okay, what color was bonjour in? Pumpkin. I just can't stop saying that. All right. Here it is. In pumpkin. Where's my inside? I need card kits too. Can I email you? Yes, you can. Please email me. It's hello at browndogcraftcompany.com. Email me. Um... Let me know how you'd like to get your kit if you'd like to place an order in my online store for uh, $50 before shipping and tax using the current host code. Oh, which I didn't talk about the host code. Here's the host code. Uh, the host code is also on my website, browndogcraftcompany.com. Um, so you can um, email me. If, so if you'd, if you'd like to place an order with my host code uh, for $50, you can get this card kit for free. Or you can pay um, for the card kit itself without placing an order. Either one is fine with me. Um, you let me know what you prefer, okay? Bonjour. And then gray granite. I 
I did three little bats. So I did one here and two over here. Cute, right? All right, that's all of our ink blending and stamping. I think. <laughs> you never know if it's really it, but. Okay. All right, I think we can work on gluing. So let's glue the inside down and let's glue this onto our crypt. Is that a crypt? What would you call it? You tell me what you'd call it. <laughs> A tombstone or a crypt? I, or maybe it's both. Okay. So here's the inside of our card. And this little white piece. So this nestles right in there. There's like an embossed detail. Shows you exactly where it should go. Okay. And then onto the sky, we'll glue down our little fence to the left here. So I'm going to put some glue. Just real thin lines of some um, fine tip glue for this one. And then flip that over. I need my tweezers, but I can't find them. I don't know where I put them. I'll find them as soon as I'm done being live. So it's going to overhang just a little bit. Give that a press. Okay, um, let's glue these pieces together. So we'll glue the orange DSP onto the white mat. And then before we glue that down, I'll show you what we're gonna do with our ribbon. Okay, so you get this much ribbon. It's about seven inches but it looks like you get a lot more, right? So we're going to cut our ribbon in half and then we're going to double it up and we're going to make a tear and tape sandwich. So fold your ribbon in half and cut it, okay? Now this pattern paper does have an upside and a downside. So um, it says boo and eek. <laughs> so I'm going to take two pieces of tear tape and have them waiting. And I'm going to take two more pieces of tear and tape. And um, like if you split this piece into thirds and we're to go to the top of the third of the bottom third, that's about where I'm going to put my tear and tape. That's where I want my ribbon to be. Okay, so I'm going to put my tear and tape there and I'm going to peel the back off. Now I'm going to take my ribbon. And I'm going to attach it let's do our tear and tape on the front too actually let's do our tear and tape I just realized we attach it on the front too so it's going to be hidden behind here so we want tear and tape right here and we want another piece of tear and tape right here okay so our ribbon will be hidden so there will be no ribbon in here but it's okay because it will be covered by our centerpiece so I'm going to put one half of my ribbon like this the other half of my ribbon directly across from it like this we're gonna flip it around and touch it to your tear and tape okay and then flip it again, okay, and push it into the tear and tape. And that's 
how you're going to get a double piece of ribbon when you fold it back over. Okay. So that'll give you double ribbon. Flip it straight over. Okay, so push that in. All right, fold it over this way. And then push it right in. Okay, that's gonna give you two layers of ribbon. Trim off these extras. I'm going to add a little bit of tear and tape right there to hold that down. So that's my tear and tape sandwich, or two tear and tape sandwiches. Oops. Okay. Now I will take, let's see, this is popped up too. So we'll pop up our crypt. You could also use black foam squares here. I don't know that you'd need to, but you could. Okay, so we'll get that. Take off the backers here. Hi Milo, oh good boy. He's snoring over there. Snoring away. Okay, so that'll go on this side right here. All right, this gets popped up. Lots of foam. I think this is, well, this is the first full sheet I've used. But I used up lots of pieces, lots of outsides <laughs> on the other piece I had, on the other piece of foam dimensionals. Okay, that looks good. And peel the backers off those. I think the most time consuming part is peeling the backers off your foam. Okay, so this is going to go right in the center. Left to right, up and down. Um, we're going to put our little cat on the fence, or if you have a puppy, you could put him down at the bottom of the fence. Um, so he's going to go at the top of the fence, like he's perched there, like cats like to do. <laughs> Peel off backers on this guy. I'm going to put a teeny bit of glue on his hat. and then position him so he's over the crypt a little bit, over the kitty too. Okay, and there he is. All right, and then the last thing to do is to add our embellishments. So you'll get one big and two small, or two small and one big. And whoops, we're just gonna scatter those across the card. So I pretty much always send you three, sometimes five, but usually an odd number of whatever it is, whatever embellishment it is. Okay, and then the other thing I want to do quickly is turn off, turn off the um, lights. I'm going to Stella his cute little hat, and you could Stella his boots. Maybe that would make it a cowgirl. All right. Oh, and we got to put this one on our card base. Can't forget that. There we go. Card number four done. Yay, we finished four cards. All four finished. Okay, so here's the cards we made. One... Two. So let me know which one is your favorite. 
I want to know which one your favorite is. And I'm hoping by now this will be glowing in the dark. So I'm going to go turn out the lights. And then um, also as a thank you for everyone who signed up to take this class, I do a drawing for a giveaway prize. So I'll show you the drawing or I'll show you the prize um, that I'll do the drawing for. And um, I don't do the drawing live, um, but I will do the drawing and let you know if you've won. And then I'll mail you the prize. So today it's... The door prize is these adhesive backs, backed hexagons and they're black. I don't know what color that is. Maybe petal pink. And what is that green? That might be cool. pool pool party? Pool party? Coastal cabana? I don't know. Pool party maybe. Okay. All right, let me turn the lights out so we can see if these are gonna glow in the dark. Okay, I think they need a little bit more light. I'm gonna hold them up to the light for a second. All right, so let me know which card your favorite is and um, let me know if you'd like a card kit for this class. I have some left over. All of my classes come with a free PDF tutorial along with them, um, so even after you've made the cards, you can go back and see all the measurements and all the colors and all the stamps used and make the cards again in the future if you'd like. Thank you, Vicki. She says, I love all your cards. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all your comments and um, your support. And it's fun to be here with you. So, all right. I think that worked. Let's see if that worked. Yes. <laughs> it worked. Yay. Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. I love that, like, yeah, and that paper. I think this one's my favorite. But I do like the ink blending on this one, and I like this one. I feel like it's, like, clean and simple, even though there's nothing simple about it. Um, <laughs> but I feel like it's, yeah. And then this one I like because of this cute little, like, peek out, like, little peekaboo, and the background, and the, the tone on tone. Yeah. So these are really fun cards to make. Let me flip my camera. All right. So um, I, I think I will be live on Saturday. Um, not at my normal time. Normally I'm live at 1 p.m. Central on Saturdays. Um, I have a conflict with something that... Um, with one of my kids with something that's going on for sports. So um, I don't know that I'll be live at one o'clock. I would like to go live on Saturday evening, um, hopefully around seven or eight. Uh, I have, I'm not sure what we're doing yet. So it'll be a surprise for me too, but um, it's usually, usually about an hour and I just like to pick a set and make something with you live. So um, that's the plan for Saturday. Otherwise my next class is Next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central. Vicki says she likes the last one best. Yeah, this one, the ink blending one. Yeah. I love the cowboy. He's so cute. Okay, so let's craft card class for October. Um, it's October 10th at 8 p.m. Central, which I can't believe that next Tuesday is already eight, is already October 10th. Um, that's crazy. Crazy. Um I have kits left if you're interested. Uh, I showed the cards earlier, um, but I'll show them again quick. It's um, Medley Mix with some Pecan Pie, Pick of the Patch, ignore the post-it note, but Pick, pick of the Patch, and um, this one, Forever Forest. Okay. This card kit has 8,000 million pieces to it. So, but it'll be really fun to put together. This is my favorite one. So um, let me know if you want kits for that class. It's free with a $50 order in my online store uh, or $22 without an order. Okay. So, all right, Milo, can you say goodbye to everyone? Oh, can you all see Milo? Hi, Milo. Can they see you? There he is. <laughs> there he is. Hi, buddy. Hi, how was your nap? Did you have a good nap? You want to come up? Come on up, they want to see you. Come on. 
Yeah, it's hard to say for sure which one is favorite. I know. I agree, Vicky. Come on, Milo. They, they want to see you. You, you don't want to come up? Okay. He doesn't want to come up. He doesn't want to jump. He doesn't want to jump up. So, oh, I forgot to turn on some lights. <laughs> Thanks, Hildy. Thank you. All right. So, um, I will do the drawing for the door prize for those who um, placed an order to purchase the card kits from me. Um, and I'll let you know uh, if you won, and I'll mail that out to you. And then um, I'll see you all on Saturday. And um, I'm not sure what we're going to make. I feel like we should make something Halloween-ish, but I don't know. I normally don't make Halloween cards, so this was new for me this year, making Halloween cards, which I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, but I made a Halloween card last Thursday, or last Saturday, too, so maybe I'll make something else um, this weekend. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. We'll just figure it out, and <laughs> maybe I won't have a plan, and we'll just... Um, you can tell me what you think I should use. So let's do that. If there's a set, a stamp set, in either the annual catalog or the mini catalog that you'd like to see me use, please leave a comment or email me and let me know. Um, you can leave a comment on this video as soon as I'm done going live. You'll be able to leave a comment. So leave a comment if there's a specific stamp set um, you'd like me to use. And I will take it under advisement. <laughs> Um, otherwise, that's all I have for you tonight. All right. It's 9.37 p.m. Hour and a half. I think that's pretty good to make four cards together. Um, thanks for staying with me. And I hope you feel inspired and went away with some ideas and are feeling uh, fulfilled and happy with what we made today. Uh, it's great to have you here. And I will see you Saturday. Have a great Wednesday. And maybe we'll have some fall weather by then. So, all right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Bye now.